The Littoral Combat Ship, LCS, is a new family of surface ships for the U.S. Navy. The LCS is a fast, highly maneuverable, networked surface combat ship, which is a specialized variant of the family of U.S. future surface combat ships known as DDX. LCS is designed to meet the urgent requirement for shallow draft vessels to operate in the littoral, coastal waters to counter growing potential asymmetric threats of coastal mines, quiet diesel submarines, and the potential to carry explosives and terrorists on small, fast, armed boats. The LCS class consists of two variants, the Freedom variant and the Independence variant designed and built by two industry teams. The Freedom Variant Team is led by Lockheed Martin. The Independence Variant Team is being led by General Dynamics. The U.S. Department of Defense and the U.S. Navy announced the selection of two separate defense contracting teams led by Lockheed Martin and General Dynamics. Each was tasked with carrying out system design and options for the detailed design and construction of first-generation LCS ships. The two designs are quite different, although both satisfy the top-level performance requirements and technical requirements of the LCS program. The Lockheed Martin Freedom Class design is a high-speed, semi-planing monohull. The General Dynamics Independence Class design is a trimaran with a slender stabilized monohull. The number of LCS ships is not finalized, but speculated to be up to 60, within a total U.S. naval fleet of 375 ships. The LCS C-frames will be outfitted with reconfigurable payloads, called mission modules, made up of mission systems and support equipment, which can be changed out quickly. These modules combine with crew detachments and aviation assets to become complete mission packages, which will deploy manned and unmanned vehicles and sensors in support of mine countermeasures, anti-submarine warfare, or surface warfare missions. Core Capabilities of the Littoral Combat Ship a 10 feet full load displacement draft allows the ships to access very shallow waters. Ships will have a top speed of 50 knots and the range at sprint speed is 1,500 nautical mile. At an economical speed of 20 knots, the range is 4,300 nautical mile. The ships are configured with a helicopter deck and hangar. The deck can launch and recover the MH-60RS helicopter and a tactical unmanned air vehicle. The ship's shallow draft allows it to hunt submarines, mines, and enemy targets in areas not deep enough for deeper draft ships. This enables coastal patrol and reconnaissance missions as well as a close-in mine hunting ability. As part of this mission set, the LCS is increasingly being engineered with surface and undersea drones to hunt mines, conduct surveillance, and lower submarine hunting sonar into the water. The ship is armed with guns and over-the-horizon missiles, as well as countermine technology and surveillance equipment. Both General Dynamics and Lockheed Martin vessels are armed with BAE Systems Land and Armaments MK-11057 mm naval gun system. The MK-110 fires ammunition at a rate of 220 rounds a minute to a range of 9 miles. General Dynamics Trimaran The slender stabilized Trimaran mono hull proposed by the General Dynamics team has an overall length of 127.8 meter, a maximum beam of 28.4 meter, and full load displacement of 2,637 ton. The seat frame is based on Austell's design for the Benchajigwa Express passenger. A naval forward-looking infrared is fitted above the bridge. The Raytheon CRAM anti-ship missile defense system is installed on the hangar roof. CRAM combines the sensors of the Phalanx 1B close-in weapon system but replaces the 20mm gun with an 11 missile launcher for the rolling airframe missile. 50 caliber machine gun mounts are installed port and starboard on the walkway on either side of the hangar and at the stern just below the level of the stern helicopter deck. 
Lockheed Martin Semiplaning Monohull Lockheed Martin's advanced semiplaning C-frame is based on technologies introduced by Italian shipbuilder Fincantieri, which holds the transatlantic speed record. The ship has a steel hull with an aluminium superstructure and will be powered by two Rolls-Royce gas turbines and two Fairbanks Morse coal peel stick diesel engines. The ship's maximum speed is 45 knots. The overall length is 115.5 meter. The maximum beam width is 13.1 meter and the draft is 3.7 meter. The vessel has automated stern doors, stern ramp, side launch doors, and overhead crane for the launch and recovery of both manned and unmanned vessels. The combat management system is the Lockheed Martin Combats 21, based on open architecture. The ships will be equipped with EADS TRS 3D C band radar for air and surface surveillance and weapon assignment, and the soft kill weapon system Decoy Launcher from Terma, a company based in Denmark.